It's a girl queen at Hubert in Hollywood Milkshake. It's your favorite boy, Jerry Williams. And I'm here to let you know where to watch, I mean, bangers, action movies. I need you all to subscribe to Arrow Dreams Nolly TV on YouTube. And trust me, you watch Nollywood movies, is gonna be interesting. Love you guys. You never told me you had a younger sister. Did you ask me? I didn't tell. I'm sorry, I never knew you had a younger sister. If I knew, you I You should have think... listened to her, Nikki. I'm sorry. Well, it's all right. I didn't know you'd still be here by now. I thought you were going to leave in the morning. Are you indirectly asking me to go? Are you supposed to leave here with me? What about what we shared? Does it stop you from going to your house? Huh? Okay. Excuse me. Why does it keep? Sonia, what is it? Brother, hope you're not planning anything serious with her. And what do you mean by anything serious? Like marriage. Hope you're not planning on getting married to that girl. Because that girl is nowhere close to the ideal woman for you. Can we, can we talk about something else, please? Huh? Please. Brother, you want to skip my question? You should know that girl is a direct ticket to the grave. That girl will kill you. She's a Jezebel. How have you been coping in school? I hope all is well there. School is fine, but... One more word about her. And you find yourself in the village with Mama. Famine. John, I'm talking to you now. Why are, why are you walking out of me? I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. What's up? Stop are you, are you there for? I don't understand. What is wrong? What all this again? I don't like it though. Like, I don't like it. If like him, let don't let this night. I beg. I, I, I'm done talking to you. I beg. Rubbish.
Hello, good day. Good day. I'm here to see your brother. Does he know about your coming? No, but it's important I see him. You can drop the message. I'll deliver it to you. Nah, uh, it's very essential I do it myself. Really? Yes. Hey, baby. Nikki, you didn't tell me you were coming. Your phone wasn't reachable. Same thing everyone is saying. Here. And what is this? Well, I hope you're fine. I am. It says you're pregnant. Yes. Wow. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> so who's responsible? Who's responsible? That should be good news. Oh, no, it's not. How do you mean? How am I sure she didn't tell me that or ask her to marry me? That's why you have a doctor. Listen, man. All you need to do is confirm. You take her to see your doctor for her to run a pregnancy test. That's what you need to do. Why are all this happening to me? It's happening to you because it's the right time for it to happen. Bro, listen. You are not getting any younger. Just look at you, man. <laughs> you, you're getting older. Besides, you are the only son of your parent. Don't forget that. So what are you saying in essence? Marry her, man. Oh, come on, bro. How can you say a thing like that? How can I settle down for someone I barely know? That's not possible. Listen, there is nothing impossible here. Okay? All you need to do is draw her closer. You get to know her better. This is the perfect time for you to know this girl better. Just draw her close. Okay? Chill, man. You'll be fine. Is there anything in the house? I'm, I'm famished. Help yourself. You know the kitchen. Sure. Brother. What bothers you? Sonia, I'm fine. You are not, brother. And that is ever since she came. What's going on? It has nothing to do with her, all right? I'm fine. Brother, remember I'm your only sister. Sonia, can you kill this curiosity for God's sake and let me be? I'd like to be left alone. Oh. Fine. Should I prepare your lunch? I'm not hungry. But are, you are not hungry and you said you're fine. I said I am not hungry, Sonia. Can you just let me be, please? Let me be. Oh. We're going to see my doctor this evening. Is it that you don't trust me? I do. It's just that I need to be sure, all right? We did it just once and telling me that you're pregnant for me sounds strange. How many times does it take one to get pregnant? I know, all right, I know. I just need to be sure. Please don't misunderstand me. Okay, if you insist. Thank you. We'll see my doctor this evening. Um, 
Nikki, I'm very sorry for doubting you. It's fine. Anybody in your shoes will do the same. So what do we do now? I don't know. But abortion is not an option. Which means you already know what to do. You know what? Let's do it this way. If you give birth to this child, I'll take care of you and the child. As what? As baby mama. Please put some respect to my name. So what do you want me to do? I can't possibly marry you. It's not possible. You can't marry me. But you can sleep with me and get me pregnant. No, where is the gentleman in you? Tell me! Nikki, you instigated that. This is what you've always wanted. I don't know what you're talking about. But I am not going to give birth to a bastard. Listen up. Just mm -hmm. take me home, please. Can you at least hear no, me? There is nothing to listen to. Charles, if in two weeks I don't get to hear from you, I'll run away with your unborn child and you will never set eyes on this child again. I don't know what I'm doing in your stupid car anyways. He's not yet back. Yes, mama. No. You look sweet, oh. Thank you. You are in a ring now. Ada. Mama. My dear, please get me something light. Okay, oh. mama. Let me take your bags inside. Mama, yeah. thanks for the food items. Oh, my dear. Away. He's not back. Charles, are you, are you saying the doctor confirmed she's pregnant? Yes. And she's not ready for an abortion now. In that case, um, that shouldn't be a problem. Let her keep the baby. You need it. She's insisting I marry her. Else she's going to run away with the child. That's a big one. What if you're not a biological father? The doctor said it will take 12 weeks before a paternity test could be carried out. That's true. The doctor is right. So where do we go from here? She has to abort that child. She must abort that child. She just have to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mama? Abort Guinea. Eh? My grandchild. Mama, when did you come? When I came does not matter. What matters here is that you got a woman pregnant and you are talking of abortion. Yeah, you are talking of killing the child. Kibongwa chukunyergi. Okuya? Enna. Mama, welcome. Osim, welcome. Hi. My son. It's like you don't want your father to be proud of you. You don't want him to be happy wherever he is. Um, I'm not even sure I'm the one responsible for that child. Did you sleep with that girl or not? Answer me. Because it's only a woman knows the biological father of her child. Nanya Kangwage, get yourself prepared. We are going to their place to perform the marriage rites. You must marry that girl. And make sure you provide Everything that she needs. Make sure whatever she needs, you provide it for her. So both of you are talking of abortion. Wapu <clears throat> I'll talk to him. Talk over to him. Oh. Make sure you talk to him. <clears throat> Charles, you've heard Mama. We're going to see our parents for the proper marital rights. We intend giving birth to that child. 
You already know the answer to that. Of course I won't. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love that. Yes. Listen. This is the plan. Get him to marry you. Yes. Take pills to abort the pregnancy. Then pretend you have miscarriage. Yes. So after that, always take birth control pills. Frustrate him. Make sure you frustrate him. Make him feel the pains of a desperate woman. Yes. Make him feel the pains. Frustrating to understand that he will have no option than to file for divorce. Yes. After that, when he does that, definitely his properties, investments, assets will be split into two. You will take your own and come back to daddy. By then, definitely, I must have finished our marriage plans. Then we we'll locate and give our children a better life. Mm. Casey, are you confident everything will work according to plan? Everything will work. are you looking for? I'm here to see Charles. Charles? You must be his wife to be. Are you the one carrying my grandchild? I'm carrying Charles's child. Hey! You are already his wife. My daughter, you're welcome. My grandchild is in you. Let's go inside. But hey! Wait, let me open the door for you. Hey, you're welcome, oh. You're welcome. Hey, you're welcome, oh. Come inside. Come. Sit down. Make your face comfortable, you know. Hey, you're welcome. This is your house. Eh? See, don't mind him. Eh? You are not aborting any child. You're already my son's wife. His wife. Or was it to be? Oh? Mama. How are you? I'm very well. I'm enjoying the company of your wife. I see. Nikki, how are you? I'm fine. You didn't go to work today? Um, I decided to take a day off so I could rest. Oh, I said it. She can make a good wife. Yeah. Eh? If an alien, she will take good care of you. And uh, Hey! Mm -hmm. Mama, mm -hmm. that lady you are forcing my brother to marry is not really who you think she is. She's not good for my brother, Mama. Huh. Will you shut up? What do you know about marriage? Let me ask you, Sonia. What do you know about husband and wife? Tell me. Mama, mm? I might not know much about husband and wife, but I know about character. Mama, that lady doesn't have character. You needed to see the way she treated me the very first day I met her. 
In my own brother's house. Mama, that lady is no good for my brother. She's not even close to the ideal woman for my brother. Did she know who you are? Is she supposed to treat a stranger with so much disrespect? It's none of your business. Long ago, I've been asking your brother to get wife for himself. To get a wife for himself. But he insisted. Now, this is an opportunity. This is pure miracle. And let me tell you, Sonia, I will not let this slip out of my hands. She is pregnant. She's carrying my grandchild, if not grandchildren. Advisor, keep it to yourself. Oh? Have you picked a date yet? Well, I'll go see her people by the weekend, pick up the list, and also make plans for it. Wow, that's good. I think I like the sound of that. But if I may ask, do you love this girl so much that you want to spend the rest of your life with her? To be sincere, yes. I actually wanted to fight the feelings, but um, the more I did, the more I, um, I was hot. So I let it slide. So why were you refusing the idea of marrying her before? You totally declined all ideas regarding that. The thing that is, I did not want commitment. But I couldn't fight it. Everything was happening so fast, I didn't have time to think. And, I don't know, I feel like she had everything planned out from the very beginning. Well, if you say so, uh, I think maybe because she wants you. Yes, but if you ask me, I don't see her being a problem here. She's not a problem, bro. She's not. Uh, but um, as regards to our marriage commitment, I will advise you have to take a bold step, bro. My advice, I think you should have bought every idea of postponing this. Something you and I know you will still do. Just go ahead and marry this girl and forget every negative thought. Well, I'm happy my mother is around. At least she's making things easier for me and also helping me make good decisions. <laughs> your mother. You see, that's why I like your mother. You know, mothers are demigods. You know, they're always there to provide advices, which we want. And I'm sure she's playing her role very well. She is always there when you need her the most. Yes, exactly. Well, um, it's lunchtime. Or me, let me take care of the lunch. I have to give you time to put this together. Yeah, sure. Just take it. <laughs> Who are you speaking with? Oh, that was Mama. She asked of you. Where are you going to? I'm going to see a friend. You're going to see a friend and I told you I'm hungry. I'm sorry, I can't help you. Go to the kitchen and help yourself with food. Or better still, ask your sister to do it for you. After all, she's a woman like myself. Excuse me, Abby. Keep your greetings to yourself. I don't need it. Look, I know you don't like me. I don't like you either. So let's maintain the same energy. Just so you know, your hate has no impact in my life. And soonest I will teach you a bitter lesson, a lesson that you will never forget in your entire life. Useless dirty thing. Trash. <laughs> 